Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create a bullet point title in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so welcome in this video. First off, I would like to let you know that you can download uh, this bullet point sample that we've created from our bullet point minimal pack. Uh, it contains a bunch of different options. Here you can select from one up to 10 bullet points. You have a bunch of different animation that you can choose from and a bunch of different parameters that you can modify. But right now I'm gonna show you uh, how you can do it from scratch in Fusion. Not with all those functionality, it will take too much time. But I'm gonna share with you how to create all those bullet points with the animation. If you want to download this sample, please feel free to click the link in the description below to download it. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first off, here we're going to go over to Effect, we're going to go down to Effect and we're going to bring a new Fusion Composition in our timeline. I'm just going to click on the Fusion Composition and here I'm going to go over to Fusion. Uh, in Fusion, I'm going to need a couple of things. So first off, I'm going to start with here a text node. This is going to be my header, so I'm going to just here wrote uh, DaVinci Resolve Tutorials. And we're going to select a font, we're going to select Montserrat in bold, and I'm just going to bring that up on screen. We're going to reduce the size a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to bring that up there. And one thing is that here in H encore, I will recommend that you select here the left encore. So if you were to change uh, some text, add more text here on the header, it will not mess up with the alignment. So that being said, let's move on to adding the first uh, bullet point. So here I'm going to bring a background and on top of that background, I'm going to add a circle ellipse. And here in the inspector, I'm going to just right click on the width and select expression and I'm going to link the expression here to the height so we preserve a perfect circle. So now I'm just going to reduce it uh, quite a bit and I'm going to bring the background here and merge it to the text one and then I'm just going to select here merge so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to change here the color uh, of that dot to white so it match all composition like so. I'm going to reduce again quite a bit the circle because I think it's still quite big and we're going to bring it here on the left side of the composition and that's going to be our first uh, bullet point right there. So now we need to add some text. I'm going to bring here a new text node and that's going to be our first point. So we're going to write point one and then here we're going to select a new font. We're going to select Montserrat and we're going to here select medium instead of bold and we're gonna bring that and merge that right there with the rest of the composition and bring it to the viewer like so. Now we're gonna reduce a bit the size of that text cause it's fairly big and like that, I think I'm fine with it. Let's bring it on the side and I'm gonna make it a tiny bit smaller like that. And then I think I'm gonna make probably the point a little bit smaller as well right there, I'm gonna reduce it a little bit. All right, perfect, I think I'm happy with that. Now for the text too, we're gonna do uh, the same thing as I've done for the header. So here we're gonna put a H anchor. Uh, so if we were to add more text on point one, uh, it's not gonna move randomly. For example, here, if we were to be uh, to have an anchor on the middle, as you can see, if we were to add some text, it will just push the left side on the left and we don't want that. We want the anchor to just, we want the text to stay here on the left side. So we need to put the anchor on the left side. That being said, let's just remove all the text that I've added. And here we're gonna stylize it a bit more by going to shading and we're gonna add uh, automated background. So to do that here, we're gonna select four in select element and we're, gonna, and we're gonna enable it. And here, as you can see, we have now a background and in extended horizontal, I'm just gonna bring it to the maximum. And now we have a solid background behind our text. I'm gonna make it uh, red right here by changing the color. And we have now the background for our text. There is a lot of things that you could change here. You can make it an outline uh, like so, and here raise the thickness of that outline. Uh, there is just a bunch of different options that you can choose here to stylize uh, your bullet point. Right now, I'm just gonna go with background and that's it. I think that's the one that most people will find useful uh, to start with. 
So that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna create the animation and once the animation is done, uh, you get the principle. It's just like a duplicate those points and make it uh, as long as you wish it to. Uh, and that's kind of stopped there. So right now let's start with the animation of the heading. So we're gonna select text one. I'm gonna make the animation from zero to the 15 frame. So I'm gonna select here the 15 frame and we're gonna go uh, here in shading and I'm gonna click on opacity to put a first one here on opacity, bring that down to zero, bring the opacity down to zero. And here we're gonna also make an adjustment on the position. I'm gonna go back to the 15 frame. I'm gonna go to layout and here uh, in the position, I'm just gonna add one keyframe and then I'm just gonna go down to zero and we're gonna bring that a bit down and we'll have our first animation with both opacity and the movement of the text going from down to up. So now let's just play it. Great, I'm happy with that. I just want to make the animation smoother. To do that, I'm gonna go here in the spline editor. I'm gonna select the text one and I'm gonna click right here so I can have all my keyframe point in one spot and I'm just gonna select everything. Hit the letter S on my keyboard to smooth out that curve. You can as well click here on smooth curve and then I'm gonna hit the letter T on my keyboard so I can bring in the easing and ease out right there and I'm gonna bring the easing to maybe about 80 like so. As you can see, just modify the curve and now uh, we're gonna have something that looks a bit smoother. Perfect, I'm happy with that. For the animation out, just replicate the exact same process right there. Just here, instead of having the ease in at 80%, uh, get the ease out at 80% and you'll be good. Now let's move on to the second animation here. We're gonna animate the point and we're gonna animate the text. So to do that here, first off, I'm gonna go um, to about, 18 frame, that's where I'm gonna want my animation to end. So I'm gonna select the text two. So here I'm gonna add a first keyframe uh, on text two with the position. And I'm gonna bring then down the position at frame zero. I'm gonna bring it down to 0 0.5. So now the next step is gonna be to animate both the circle and here at the first point. To do that, I'm gonna start here with the text. So I'm gonna bring my select tool window by hitting shift space, and then I'm gonna search for transform and I'm gonna bring a transform node. And then I'm gonna hit shift space again, and I'm gonna bring a brightness uh, contrast node. So perfect like that. Here we're gonna keyframe basically with the brightness and contrast node and opacity animation and here on the transform position animation. So to do that here, brightness and contrast, I'm gonna select alpha. I'm gonna go to the 18 frame and then I'm gonna add uh, here a keyframe on the gain. Then I'm gonna go up to frame zero and I'm gonna bring the gain down to zero. Now with the transform, I'm gonna do some animation as well. I'm gonna go back to frame 18 here I'm going to drop a keyframe on the center and then I'm going to go down to zero and I'm going to bring from 0 0.5 to 0 0.45. Here we go. And now in the spline editor, we're going to smooth that out. So I'm going to basically unselect here text one. So I got only text two uh, with the transform one and the brightness here in my timeline. I'm just going to bring that zoom to fit. Then I'm just going to select everything. I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard and ease in again about 80%. So now we get the animation for point one. We're gonna do something very similar here for the ellipse. I'm just gonna do everything right here on the ellipse one. So here I'm gonna go frame 18 again. I'm gonna put a keyframe on the level and then I'm gonna put a keyframe on the center. Then I'm gonna go down to frame zero and here I'm gonna bring the level down to zero and I'm gonna bring uh, about the same here at 0 0.5 about that I think I'll be fine with that let's see how it looks oh, we need here to make some adjustment uh, right there so I'm gonna unselect text 2 so we just have what we want which is basically here helips 1 so I'm just gonna remove the transform as well uh, the brightness and contrast and we're just gonna keep here the ellipse one with the level and the center. So now let's just select everything once more, hit S, then the ease in again about 80. Let's play everything together. 
perfect everything seems to work fine uh, now again if you want an animation out just replicate the exact same process uh, with the animation out and if you want to add more point we're gonna do it right now together so here what i will do i will basically unhook those two and i'm gonna bring my point right there I'm gonna bring my text and animation right there and I'm gonna link those two together with a merge node. Perfect, and now I'm just gonna select everything and I'm gonna right click on whatever node and gonna create a group. And now that we have a group, uh, it's very easy to just duplicate it. We're just gonna bring one, then we can just copy and then paste it. And we have our second point now the only thing that we need to do is to bring a transform node in between so we're just going to select uh, here our group we're going to hit shift space to bring the select tool and then we're going to search for transform and then we're going to bring a transform in between those two and we can just bring the point down like so and now you're free to make your modification just select uh, the group go here uh, in text two and then you can just make your modification point two there you go and you got your point 0.1, point 0.2 and just replicate that as much as you want. Uh, if you need 5, 10, point, 20 points, whatever, you can just do that right there. Uh, quick tips, if you don't want them to show up, uh, you know, all at once, what you can do is here in the spline editor, uh, you can search for group one slash one. So let's just go look for that here, group one slash one. I'm just gonna unselect everything I don't need like that. And then we get group one slash one, perfect. And then I'm just gonna select all my keyframe from group one uh, dash one. And I'm just gonna hold shift on my keyboard and move that a couple of frame forward, like maybe six frame. And then we're gonna have just a tiny bit of delay between the animation of the first bullet point and the second bullet point. So now let's play it. As you can see, we have a tiny bit of delay and you can increase that delay by the more frame you move it forward. If you would like to have a longer delay, you can just uh, keep everything selected. And instead of moving it six frame, you can move it uh, maybe, I don't know, 12 frame. And you can play it once again and you have a bit more time between the two animation. That's pretty much it. That's how you do a bullet point in DaVinci Resolve. Again, if you don't want to bother with all that and you want to have something that is already pre-made, we've made uh, a sample out of it. We have a full pack available on our website, uh, the bullet point minimal uh, pack that you can check out directly on the website, but you can just try out for free this sample where you have a bunch of different modifications here. We've added the possibility to uh, quickly customize how many bullet point uh, you got. You can change the control here uh, on the bullet point to be either square, diamond or circle. Uh, you can change the color of all that uh, and we've made it very easy for you uh, to make those modifications directly from the edit page. But as you can see here, if we check in Fusion, uh, the node tree is very different and a bit more complex because we needed to add the functionality that I just show you in the edit page. So I'm gonna just uh, share with you uh, the easy way to do it in Fusion. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.